Forsty Farts continues to build out his new van. Whole lot of work here in this video. Uh, he's starting to get the electronics put in, the lithium battery, the, the, sh the shelving there, we're building up his bed. He's got the paint, some gray paint, just a lot of work. You know, it's amazing. He's he's really cool. You know, he knows he knows his carpentry stuff and and he knows exactly what he wants and uh, he knows drilling holes and pulling cable and uh, so anyway, check it out and uh, what else can I say? Watch the video. There's his new van. It is, and he got the limo, not the limo tint, but he did get tint on the back windows and he's still going to need some curtains and all that stuff for his privacy, but uh, you know, what the heck. So waiting, waiting on Canada Post for deliveries. Ah, yes, I guess they're doing the same thing in Canada that they are here still waiting on stuff, right? Takes forever. I got Dave's RV Life heading uh, eastbound across Arizona, going from the courtside area where we spent the last uh, month or two, two months, right? Rescue Panda's van there from the Seattle area. Oh, good stuff. Great videos. Him and his dog, Bella. And now they are headed east toward Tucson. And this is very interesting because along the road they have this actual border checkpoint. You know, they're, they don't know what. They make everyone slow down and they... You know, the officers look at you and just wave you through. So I don't quite know what they're looking for. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, they're looking for something. So anyway, border checkpoint on to Tucson. And then Dave says, further eastward bound. Oh, yeah. Said from last winter, you know, we're using last winter. And last winter he had, uh, well, he does. He, he still has, uh, I think, a sister living in Florida, so maybe that's where he's headed. We'll see. Hey, we're also hearing about more uh, police uh, investigating cases of suspicious RVs. Yeah, back on the Christmas Day bombing that took place there in uh, Nashville, where the bomb was placed inside an RV. Uh, there have been a number of cases now, most likely north of Nashville, the case in Cincinnati, a case now in Lexington, Kentucky. The Lexington Police Department uh, has uh, evacuated. This was um, uh, on um, today or yesterday, the December 31st yesterday, the Lexington Police Department evacuated uh, areas after explosive sniffing canine were alerted while inspecting an RV in a parking lot. The scene was cleared. Um, the scene was cleared two hours later, but no explosives were found. But after two hours of um, looking around and whatever. Anyway, so the, the bomb sniffing dog sniffed something and they went and investigated and they didn't find anything. Explosive detection canine was brought in and alerted to the vehicle. They evacuated the area, but um, anyway, so this, this incident took place uh, before the New Year's Eve parties last night or during them, 10, 15 p.m., some nearby restaurants, bars, hotels, and apartments were evacuated and closed as a precaution. The vehicle looks like a Class C, which I think was kind of similar to the vehicle that was used for the bombing uh, of Nashville a week earlier. So anyway, so be careful if you're driving, especially an RV, especially a Class C in particular, uh, you know, be careful if you're parking it in a city because, uh, you know, you may get somebody calling the police and saying there's a suspicious vehicle. In the Lexington Herald uh, leader, this is the Lexington Police uh, Twitter feed, and that's the vehicle there. So anyway, nothing was found. All was, the all clear was issued as soon as uh, the police investigated. All right, I, the other day I was hanging out with Ray there of No Fear to Trek. And he brought his vehicle by twice. Before he had the upgrade on it, he had it raised up. And he also had some four-wheel drive put in. And uh, afterward, this is the vehicle as it was being finished. He has the new bumper on the front there and everything. Anyway, check it out. You join to off. Wait, you joint. I always, you join. Wait, there's words in there that it's you. You you joint, you joint off road. I'm looking at you join to road. Anyway, you joint, you jo jump in, you jo into f off road. Uh, you joint, whatever. You that's the that's the channel. Okay, F figure out the words as you like. 
But anyway, they are uh, doing a, uh, they're showing what they did to raise RV there at No Fear 2 Trek. His Bigfoot 2006 diesel. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much uh, what I did yesterday, but they're showing a lot more of the technical specs of what they did to it. So check it out, Ray's vehicle there, and check out No Fear 2 Trek number two. Uh, doing some letters here, Renee Vance Moser says, she left her tea towels on the stovetop, gas or electric, you don't put those things on the stovetop. Operator error, that's that particular nomad we don't talk about, had a fire there in her propane oven the other day. Hmm. Bill M. says, probably a minimum wage propane worker to blame. <laughs> hey, a joke, Bill. I get it. Funny. Now we got a new one from uh, Chiggery's Travels, the top five campgrounds coast to coast. Band at the Nomad pl Plug Pug. Uh, we got um, more video of Radies. That's uh, Graham Cracker's party there with uh, Aja there. That was a couple weeks ago, back in mid-December. Minivan Lee, full-time minivan life. Uh, why? I live in a minivan. Also, the, check it out. It's a good video. Ever watched uh, Eli, the computer guy, he always wears the orange shirt. Looks like, always wearing, looks like he's wearing a jumpsuit, one of those prison jumpsuits. Anyway, he's fleeing a blue state. He's leaving Maryland for a... Purple State, North Carolina. I'll call it a Purple State, North Carolina. Anyway, good good stuff from Eli. He does a lot of videos, though. He really is uh, very prolific in pumping out the videos. A lot of uh, techie stuff on in popular culture. Eli, the computer guy. And uh, he just kind of sits there in front of his little uh, backdrop there and talks and talks and talks and talks and talks. Looking at uh, sections of Appalachia, and uh, I will point this out here. Uh, he, he's up there in Maryland, I believe, and now he's moving down here to North Carolina. I think over near Asheville, and of course, Camo Dave is right there. We're right on the edge of technically Appalachia. Right on the edge, next county over, ain't it? But uh, we're, we're right there, so uh, we'll, be, we'll be neighbors, we'll be buddies. All right. <laughs> Yeah, look at it. Check it out. What a day, huh? We got a Christmas tree still up. Isn't that cool? Anyway, yeah, look at all the presents we got under the tree. <laughs> anyway, look at the rain. Beautiful January 1st, 2021. A beautiful rainy day here in North Carolina. At least it's not snow or ice. It's about 42 degrees. So. All right, everybody, you stay safe wherever you are. Happy New Year to everybody. January 1, 2020. Ah, yes, it can can only get it can only get better. Things can only get better. Remember that old Howard Jones song? All right, take it easy, everybody. Vlog under. It's a little soapy action can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so. That's cool. Hey, Marty, take a picture of us. Just, just, just aim at us. What am I push? This, this way. Right there, just like that. Okay. You what can't am I push? See, you can't see anything. How do I know? Okay. Just aim it in our general How do I turn it on? Just nothing. Just aim it at us. It's on? It's on. Just pan around. Yeah. Is it a video? Yeah, it's a video. Oh, 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 oh I was posing. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. okay. Uh, All right. Yes. Emily Miller, you are. Mike Fish off. Mike Fish off. Chapter five. Out here on a story? I'm here too. Oh my gosh! Twitter? Yes! Okay, then we have to tweet this. Yes. Okay, we'll do this. We take a picture of mine so I can tweet on Facebook.